Hi folks, I just want to um, show you a few exercises uh, that would help you if you have a bad back. They're quite easy to do, they're quite safe to do, um, but any of these, if you've got any problems, uh, just check with your doctor that you are okay to do them with your backs um, and hopefully they will keep you supple and strengthen your back muscles. Okay, so let's pop on our backs when you're ready. Okay, so hopefully you've done a little bit of warm up, maybe just a few roll downs or a little bit of spine twists. But let's have our feet and our knees hip width apart in a bent position. Okay, let's have our heels quite close to our buttocks and we're going to relax the shoulders down and tuck the chin in towards the breastbone. So I'm going to imagine my spine is a row of beads and I'm just going to peel from the bottom part, uh, bottom bead first. So I'm going to push my lower back down and I'm just going to tilt this pelvis up and then I'm going to relax back again. So imagine somebody's pushing this tummy button down in towards the mat, tilting this pelvis up as you're just about to peel those glutes up off the floor but they don't actually leave and then we're going to relax down. Okay, let's just keep going. So you're just rocking the pelvis forwards and backwards, nice and steady. Make sure the shoulders are nice and relaxed. Now think about this tummy, think about pulling the tummy in because that will support your spine. You don't have to pull it in too much, just a little bit of engagement. So on the next one, we're going to peel the beads up. So when you're ready, we're going to push our lower back down and we're gently just going to peel the spine up off the floor. Now you might just want to come up a couple of inches or you could come up into a full bridge. Now you need to be careful, you don't want to overextend. So make sure the maximum you come up is where you've got a nice line from the knee through the hip to the shoulder. And we're going to hold it there. So we're just going to have a body check. Our knees are nice and still. Our hips are nice and still. And we're relaxing our head and our shoulders. Then we're going to have a breath. And on the exhale, we're going to roll from the top bead down first. We're going to ask for a little bit of flexion in the lower back. You might not get any, but just the illusion will just help you give you that little bit of flexion in that lower back. Okay, let's go again, pushing your lower back down. Exhale as you come in, gently peeling that spine up off the floor, coming up into your bridge position. Then we're going to have a breath and on the exhale, we're going to go gently back down, rolling back down, rolling that spine back down and relax. Okay, last one now. Exhale, we're going to come up, we're going to hold, and then we're going to have a breath. Exhale, roll in that spine down now. Okay, so there's lots of levels there, don't forget, if you've got a really bad back, just your pelvic tilts is fine when you're tilting and relaxing, that'll help you release the tension in the lower back, and then when you're feeling that's okay, you could just gently peel the spine up just a couple of inches or into your full bridge. So there's three levels there that you could do. Just take your time, whichever level you feel comfortable with. But even a pelvic tilt is absolutely great for a lower back problem. Okay, so let's just have a stretch. We're going to bring one knee in towards our chest. We're going to hook the shin, point the toe, just to stretch the hip flexors, but also the lower back. We're going to relax that down. Let's bring the other knee in. Hugging the shin, pointing the toe, and back again. Okay, so we're just going to try to lie flat out. So we're going to extend the legs out and hold. So the main thing here is pushing your low back down in towards the mat. Now, if you've got a back problem, you might be more comfortable with a fleece or a towel just laid out underneath your back, just to give your back something to stabilise itself into. So pop something underneath your back if you need to. Okay, so we're going to point the toes, so my left foot, I'm just going to lift off the floor, just an inch or so, hardly anything. My right arm, I'm going to extend the arm up and over the head, and I'm going to really going to stretch wall to wall. And then I'm going to bring the arm back, and I'm going to relax the foot. Other side when you're ready, lifting that foot, pointing the toe, I'm going to take the opposite arm right over, stretching wall to wall and gently back again. And I'm just gonna keep going nice and steady. So I'm just exhaling as the arm goes over, and I'm inhaling as the arm comes back and then relaxing the foot. 
keep going, really taking your time. Your main thing here is you're pushing your lower back down in towards the mat or the towel to stabilize your back. So you're stretching your rectus spinae muscles. You're really stretching out this spine by going opposite arm, opposite leg, always opposite ways. So if you're doing your right leg, you're doing your left arm, if you're doing your left leg, you're doing your right arm. Okay, I'm just gonna do one more each side. Last one now. Well done, and we're gonna relax. Okay, let's just bring our knees into a bent position. We're gonna pop the feet and the knees glued together. We're gonna pop both knees over to the one side and we're gonna roll the head and the arms in the other direction. Now, if you've got a bad back, just take those knee back, knees over as far as you want to. They haven't got to be too much. And then we're gonna come back again. Okay, other side when you're ready. And we're gonna go back again. Okay, so to sit up, let's just gently bring our knees over so we're on our side. We're gonna use our hands to push ourselves up so we're not popping any strain on our backs. And that's it, folks. We are gonna relax. So you can do that throughout the day as long as you feel nice and comfortable. Uh, try not to do it in the morning if you've got a bad back because you will be at your stiffest in the morning. It's important that you allow your muscles um, to relax and warm up first. So probably doing it mid-morning, lunchtime or evening is absolutely fine. And uh, I hope it helps you. Thank you.